All right, guys, so this is my tackle box. It's a Plano 440 Magnum series, I believe. I got this I got this about a year and a half ago, and it's really it's a really heavy duty big tackle box and I've I can't be happier with it because it's got so much storage space. so right away we're gonna go into our, my crankbait slash buzz bait slash jitterbugs slash, slash everything like hard bodied so I got my I got all my crankbaits organized here. I've got my deep divers. I've got I've got them in different patterns. These are my favorite right here, cotton cordels. They're cheap and they catch a lot of fish. These guys right here. Got my life target bluegill. That's this is a really good bait to throw out in the springtime when the bass are feeding. I've got a nice popper. This I like to throw midsummer towards June and July. I've got my square bill crankbaits. These I like to throw in colder water. So once again, like springtime, whenever the fish are feeding on shads. This little Rapala um, jerk bait works really good in small lakes. Also with this crankbait here, with this uh, crawdad pattern here. I have a really nice lake that we go to every year when we go camping and it's just stacked with crawdads and this thing just kills them. And then we've got a little Hadan Zero Spook. I like throwing this spook out once again in the summertime when the water's warming up and the fish are aggressive. Same with this jitterbug. This jitterbug's really old, but it's always catching fish for me, so it's something I always keep in my tackle box. I've got another jerk bait here. This is a Rapala Shadow Wrap. And this thing goes 7 to 10 feet, I believe. And this just works all around well in the summer. And I got a really nice pike bait right here. A nice uh, deep diving crank with a lot of rattles in it which really attracts the pike and then just a laser minnow jig something I like to throw out at the pier and jig for white fish or salmon or steelhead stuff like that so that's the first part that's all my hard bodied now we get to go to the fun stuff here I'm gonna start with my my buzz baits and spinner baits here this is just a booyah buzz bait it's a chartreuse pattern and then my favorite one is this warrior warrior path uh, buzz bait it's a black colored I've caught a lot of fish over this last year it's a single blade single clacker and this really irritates the fish and gets them to bite and I got my KVD sexy shad spinner bait nine nylate pike with this in the springtime it's missing the skirt right now because I remember a pike bit it off last time and then this is another spinner bait here. So this is really nice because it keeps your spinner baits nice and organized. You can just hang them freely right there without the hooks being messed up or, or your clackers being tossed around. So now we can come into this part here. And this is where I keep all my jigs, all my crappie stuff. I've got all sorts of jigs here. I got my flies for uh, when I go fly fishing. I've got my, my little grubs, my rooster tails for when I go trout fishing. This is just all my small species sort of stuff. Like this is a handmade spinner I made. One of my favorites. I actually catch a lot of fish with this. A nice walleye jig. More rooster tails here. So once again, like this is just my section for all my small fish I like to catch. And then this is oh, like a woolly bugger. This is a good bass bait. And this uh this leech right here it's a weighted leech I've actually caught a nice bass on that so yeah that's all that's basically my small stuff I don't mess with that too much unless I'm really targeting crappies and stuff and then on this section here I've got my uh, my heavier jigs I've got my football jig here with a swim with a shad on here and I got my chatter baits got my black and blue chatter baits and just bobbers I got I got more jigs and stuff, but they're all on my rod and reels right now, so so that part's pretty empty right now. And then right here I've got my my weights. Got my weights organized, all my bass hooks. I've got five out, four out, my trocar hooks, my EGW hooks, then my weighted ones for swimming shads. I got my bullet weights and my split shots, so that's nice and organized. And then I've got my section here for all my catfishing and steelhead hooks that I like to use in the summertime. I got my split shots, my barrel swivels, my treble hooks, and all that fun stuff. 
I've got some Mega Strike fish attracting here. I like to throw this on my plastics when the bite is really tough. And it just, it basically just helps the, the fish, it makes the fish hold on to your bait a little longer because it's got that scent on it. It, it helps pretty, it's, pro, it's pretty significant. So, and then I've got some crappie bites. Just, just basic little crappie bites I like to throw on jigs to get them to bite. And now we can go into my plastics here. Starting with my robo worms. You guys know how much I love to throw these. Got my my pumpkin crusher and then the red crawl pattern. Then I've got my yum dingers. These are all around good for all all year long. Bass just can't resist them whether you Texas rig them or Senko rig them. Then I've got just my miscellaneous baits like that I've had over the years. Like whenever whenever they split or break off, I like to throw them in here just so I can use them as trailers later on when I'm throwing jigs or or chatter baits and stuff like that. Here I've got all my flukes. I get two different packages and just stuff them in one. So I've got I've got my salt and pepper pattern here. I got my watermelon pumpkin seed here. And then I've got a, a shad, some shad colored ones in here too. So flukes are flukes are really nice. I really like those. I've got some uh, some little grubs here that you can throw on jigs for walleye or just put them on small jigs for crappie whenever they're they're biting then I've got a bunch of crawdads here these are these are the kinky beavers they're just coming watermelon red I like to rig these with a bullet weight and a 5 out hook and just slowly drag this on the bottom and bass can't resist them and I've got the same ones in the Okeechobee craw pattern here that nice black and blue whenever the water gets muddy these work really great when you're flipping them in a thick cover. And then last but not least, I got my crawl poppies. These you can Texas rig, throw them on a jig, Carolina rig, drop shot, jig head, whatever you want to do. These are just your regular um, pumpkin color. Just that really natural presentation. And these, once again, plastics you can use all around. So that's my basic setup of my tackle box. I have all my basic baits that I use. Like I've, I used to have a lot of different baits, but then over the years you experiment and you see what works and what really doesn't. So this is what I run with all summer long. So if you if you enjoyed this video of all my tips and baits, then please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel.